There we go. All right. Uh, Zara is checking out this new Rockchip 96 boards. Hello. Say, who are you? I'm Patty. And this is Zara. Right That's there. It. So we're just comparing the size of the Rockchip board with Zara. All right. Thanks a lot. That's hey, it? Hey, yeah, that's cool. I'll send you the link. Oh, good. Send me the link. Yeah, so we right here, we're checking out a really exciting new 96 boards. This is the uh, 96 Rocks, right? Yeah, that's right. So the official name is Rock. It's uh, Rock 960. And you can find all the details about it in the 96 board rocks.com. Let's... Uh, Look around a little bit. This is a Type C port. Yeah, it's, it's got part Type of the C. Spec. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. It is indeed not at the moment mandatory, but it's highly strongly recommended. And there's now we have a fun. You know, we can find itself on the Rock 96, and we got two USB 3.0, which give you up to five G. So that's pretty awesome. And a USB 2, and then a HDMI 4K 60 HDR. Yes, very good point. No, we do not have it, but we do have a 4K 2K and HDCP. So that's pretty good. And uh, the, the chipset is uh, in a nice uh, uh, configuration like this with the RAM, this good RAM on here. Oh yeah, very good. So I think we currently we're planning for two different variants. We have 4G with 2G RAM. And, uh, and also if you look at here, we do have PCIe Gen 2.1 and give you up to four lines. So that's pretty awesome. What does it do? So... Um, GPU? No, PCIe. So What well, can it do? I, you can have SSD card, and NVMe storage, and Wi-Fi, 4G. It's a lot of lot of things you can Is do. Is it possible to connect that to a SATA? Oh, uh, well, or you would not use a SATA. I guess you can because it's you know on the PCIe bus as long as you have the driver ready. Uh, so, but we never tested. I should say that never tested. Yeah, it's yeah. brand new. It is brand new. Actually, this is just off the oven, and uh, this is the one with the first batch of engineering sample. And of course, it comes with the rest of standard uh, 96 volt, low speed, high speed connector with a camera, etc. And uh, yeah, it's very, very powerful, exciting. Plus, the fact that it's, it's a very popular platform chipset uh, in the community already and uh, very upstream friendly. Uh, we put this board, you know, just off the uh, production line, we put the chip within two days with the upstream kernel. So, this is Rockchip 3399. That's Rockchip 3399, yes. It's even a, as known a as known as aka op1 i mean <laughs> I, I in my chromebook it's called yes. an op1 all right so it's in my chromebook i've been using for last six months yeah imagine this chipset that's, that's as my it. main main computing chipset yes so this is powerful enough for uh it's very powerful actually dual cortex a72 with quad a53 exactly so that's one thing actually i should mention about this if you notice already, the latest that we, we uh, ARM announced yesterday released 17.9 machine, le uh, machine learning library uh, is optimized for GPU at uh, 7253. That is exactly what this chip is capable of. So I think people would find starting, you know, a very interesting uh, entry level, hopefully even more than that, machine learning and AI application using this chip. Because there are some future chips coming out with built-in on the SOC machine learning uh, uh, AI kind of area on the SOC. Sure. But all all the chipsets before ARM v 8.1 or 8.2, 8.2. Yes. All the one with 8.1 and below, they yeah. all they, they still want to have machine learning. Abs absolutely. So as I said, you know, uh, of course, uh, people will know that uh, 8.2 on what uh, ARM has uh, released uh, the dynamic IQ uh, technology. But as you said, everything. Before 8.2, and just there's still a lot of a market and still a lot of interest. In fact, it's still very, very powerful technology, and uh, it is our belief there's a lot of possibility we can do by enabling the machine learning and AI applications. That is, uh, you know, that's why actually the machine learning library effort is from ARM, and we believe this chip is a very, very interesting and good uh, platform people to start working on uh, platform as such, which is at the moment being optimized uh, for the to, to, you know for the usage of those libraries this is a kind of a, like a beautiful uh, 96 boards don't you think yeah absolutely it's beautiful i mean i really like how it's done and you know uh, it's not just the the, des the design is quite it's quite slick but also the the, manif the board the quality is really quite solid nice color nice color and uh, yeah very good choice of the component connectors it's just yeah it's, it feels pretty nice
So, uh, what's your strategy to make 96 boards more popular than Raspberry Pi? Oh, wow. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you have th this potential for a lot of growth, right? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, one of the difference, fundamental difference we've been talking a lot about is uh, differentiating 96 boards from other uh, interesting community projects such as Raspberry Pi, which was very successful in itself, by the and way. And the Beagle. And the Beagle one, of course. And you would notice that in this connect, we also launched the TI 96 board as well, and based on latest uh, Wi Fi chip uh, 3220. So, what I would say is uh, 96 boards, the core value of it is being SOC independent specification, which has really demonstrated the capability to really enable the latest and greatest SOC technology across the entire SOC industry and, uh, and really enable those uh, developers who has long been waiting for all the nice you know, SOC technology to carry out their development and for a large, great, you know, for the community and product designer, application designer to benefit them from. So we're seeing a huge momentum uh, in 96 board. We believe it's going to only going to be better from here. Uh, we consider Raspberry Pi is a very good community project. Uh, we set a standard, but we are not in any way in terms of competing with Raspberry Pi. Maybe they could even join the 96 boards project. Maybe they can. They we'll can make a, the, there's some new Broadcom chipsets for TV box and some big big CPU, very powerful, 15,000 DMIPS, and you have the new 96 boards TV spec. Absolutely. So everybody's welcome, no? And we have 96 board networking spec, uh, networking spec and so there's a lot of very interesting projects we're working on. What I would say is... Each one is different sp uh, design, kind of. Yes, they are, you know, they're tailored different segment market requirements and, uh, you know, we have to bring out the realistic, capable enough platform for each segment of usage. What I would say is we certainly would be very open to work with companies like Broadcom or you know, even Raspberry Pi and uh, people. Rockchip? Rockchip as well, of course. Yeah. We, we, we open, it's an open they standard. They have some very good engineers, right? Oh, wow. Rockchip. We have a, well, Rockchip has a lot Rockchip. of excellent engineers. They and should come and hang around with the Lenaro guys they more should, often, they should. right? The door is open, wide open. The next, uh, next Lenaro Connect is in Hong Kong. In fact, it's quite interesting. We see this board has actually already been very popular in Rockchip's community as well. They have a very successful established their own community. But what I would say, it's open. We welcome them to join. We welcome the participation. 96 board is about to enable people to Everything do what open they want. source. Everything is open source. Yeah, it's source. kind of slogan, but for us, it's a lot of actually actual work need to go behind the, behind the scene. But what I would say is that uh, we only did the first step. And it's up to you, everybody who participated in carrying this forward. What we can say today is evidence suggests people love what we do and love to us be able to do more about it. We just would like to welcome everybody to join force. Raspberry Pi, everybody. And, so, and yes. there was the ARM PC, there was a big deal at this. Uh, <laughs> that was, everybody here is excited about the ARM PC. The, right, right. With the Social Next, this is an enterprise edition board. It is indeed. It's a large board. So, for people who have been following us, know that we have been making attempts trying to help and uh, arm our uh, enterprise uh, community, if you like and help arms uh, enterprise software developers to be able to have a realistic platform to work on the software stack, etc. But uh, it's not without trying, but we did uh, fail a couple of times, and like some others, but we not, didn't stop there. So in Budapest, Linara Connect early this year, we made a pledge that uh, even though we know it's hard, a lot of work has to go into it, but we made a pledge we would like to be able to have the opportunity to work on and giving the developer community the first 96 uh, board ARM native developer machine. And right after that uh, session, which apparently I have got a lot in Korea, a lot of people are very interesting about, we work with uh, uh, the ODM, uh, Gigabyte in this case, we work with uh, SOC vendor, SocialNet in this case, very closely, within six months from an idea to actual box, obviously a lot of work to be still need to be finished to be done, uh, but we have an actual machine ARM um, native motherboard sitting in the demo desk. People can play and use. So I think that is something. That is something demonstrate not able. Not only we can do this, as long as we believe this is helping the developer community and uh, the SOC and ODM uh, partners have the belief in it, and we actually did it. 
And this is only the starting point because that's how we enable all the good work, including the firmware, the kernel, and the hardest bit of technology and enterprise. This is only the starting point. A lot of people are going to be very, very happy when they get this box. Uh, we are hoping they will and, be. And uh, you hoping to be uh, even more and more busy in the future? Oh. You, hope you want more and more people in the industry to contact you and say, <laughs> I want to be part of this, right? So we always, we always welcome participation. So yes, our door is always open. Please drop an email and come to our website. And yes, we're always busy. If there's any delay in response, and uh, please accept our apology. Box. Just send a second email. Just send a second email to. Uh, we won't forget about it. But normally we handle this pretty well.